You were also a pioneer in plastic surgery uh -huh. because you took it out of the closet. Brought it out of the, the closet. The first person ever, I think, that ever admitted to having yours turned out so well. <laughs> I read your bio. <laughs> now, first of all, why did you choose to go public? Was it was there a reason? No, why? no, it was an you accident. Just... It's just that I never tell. Uh, uh, I never lie, you see. And if someone said, "What are you doing Friday?" I say, "I'm going to have my face lifted," and they say, "Well, who the hell would steal it?" <laughs> And that's how it happened. And then I went, I didn't want to miss, it happened a, a, a Christmas season, I didn't want to miss all those parties, so uh, I taped my glasses to my, up here so they wouldn't sit on my new nose. While you were yes. recovering. And While here I am with the bruises, like, oh, the rainbow colors, darling. This room, brown, purple, yeah. you know, this, that. Every day it's different, you And know? you were going out like that? I went out like that, and uh, with them taped up. And so people would study me, and they'd look for ravelings and little strings. Hey, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> And they look, and they, they enjoyed watching me heal. What was? What was the thing you you saw yourself on Sunny and Cher, and that's when you decided you wanted plastic huh. surgery? What was it? What bothered you the most about the way you? Well, I felt that people might be eating. <laughs> It was beyond anything I ever uh, thought I looked. You see, you get used to your face in your own mirror because you're live and you're moving and you got used to it a day at a time. Now, mm -hmm. on, yeah. on Sunny and Cher, it must have been the worst lighting. I was playing a witchy role, which I, I still get them. I don't care what I've done. <laughs> they don't seem to care mm -hmm. that I'm looking so wonderful for 103. <laughs> I don't look too good for 70, but I look great for 103. <laughs> I, I just looked so terrible that very next morning after the show I called a skin doctor and I said uh, give me a good plastic surgeon mm -hmm. and he told me the name and that day I went and made arrangements you for did. the whole thing. Boy did you do some stuff. Hey, I have a list here. Here is a list of the, of the, okay, I'm, Covers the first thing, sheet. first thing you had done was a complete facelift. Oh, the, the works. With nose job and everything. Neck, neck, yes, it, the neck, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have a, I think we have a before, before and picture. after. Do you have a before picture? And then you don't ask why I did it. Okay, Just here's a look on the monitors. Can you see this Can you before? see that? We're talking ugly. There's before and there's Now here's... imagine, and then that picture, I was not, I was 40 years old. And looked like about, well, I looked like, oh, somebody had stuffed me in. Uh, I had a broken nose, and my teeth weren't straight, and I had bags under my eyes. I knew nothing about makeup. Uh, that was my own hair. Your own hair, I was going to say. Oh, boy, who would buy a wig like that? <laughs> <laughs> now, show the after. There's we the after. after. Yeah, we've got the after. Yes. There it is. Wow. No, 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 I mean the shot. No, it's live. After is live. Oh, after. Oh, yeah. right, right. How did you? Now you had uh, the first time nose job, eyes, neck, everything, everything done. Everything. In 1974, you had a breast reduction. Yes. Well, I fed the world. <laughs> <laughs> you had a tummy tuck. Yes. Another mini facelift. Yes. Ten years after your first one. Mm -hmm. Well, the doctor needed the money. 